or of the, right. you know, well, knowing that, hoping, like, oh, I hope I get in because there is so, you know, it's, it, it, well, and, and you know, okay. our, I know that's what the world is, Broadway and, you know, but I like. Well, again, we're an educational program. Yeah. No, I like <laughs> You know, it. and so and we, you know, I'm really big on making sure people understand it's it's South true. Shore School of Theater. You know, yes. it's about learning. It's about learning the craft. It's about being educated. Um, I mean, but, you know, our motto is building character on and off stage. Yes. So it's That's about great. you know training you on stage and getting your acting skills where you want them to be, but it's also about making sure you're a nice human being. You, thank you. <laughs> to people and on stage. Actors and actresses yeah. can be. You yes. know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, I grew up in a you know whenever I did theater, there was kind of a wall between uh, the techies and the actors. Right. Um, and so at South Shore School of Theater, one of the things we do too is in the summer program, our teens work backstage. Mm -hmm. They build the sets, they work on the costumes, nice. they do all of it in addition to being on stage. Yep. So as they grow up in South Shore School of Theater, right. we have a lot of our students who now are our teens, which mm -hmm. is odd, that's already happening after five years. Yeah, right. So they see the teens giving to them backstage right. and they want to be those backstage people and so what's great is they start feeling like I could contribute right without having to be front and center wow, what a wonderful program uh, really I love it <laughs> I'm excited I'm excited so now we are going to get to see a great performance so tell me about some of the shows you have coming up before sure. we um, do you have some shows on the calendar? Yes. That so what we do at South Shore School Theater is we have musical theater programs in the summer, mm -hmm. and then we have straight acting produ productions in the school year. So we have a fall session for younger kids, for mm -hmm. children 4 to 13, and our um, production class is for kids 9 to 12. So kids who have already taken basic acting classes can then do a full production. Right. Um, so we have a production coming up in a couple of weeks called The Phantom Toll Booth, which is based on the book. For anybody who knows it. All right. <laughs> and um, we've got a couple of students here who are going to perform a scene from that. So that's going up December 19th okay, at 7.30 and the 20th at 2. Um, and then our teens. And that's all at the college, It is. Correct? It's at, okay. Yeah, actually all of our programs are at Eastern Nazarene College. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. wonderful stage and they're very supportive of us there. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's and then our wonderful. teens have a winter session play. They're doing a Commedia dell'arte piece, which mm -hmm. is going to really stretch their improvisation and clowning and mask and dance skills all in one show. And that goes up in March. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And then we've got a spring session, and we have no idea what the show will be for that oh, yet. That's but okay, <laughs> you know. But we're excited. We keep moving. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. That's good. So I will let you um, introduce your players here that are Excellent. here to um, perform for us. And Wonderful. We're excited. Wonderful. Um, so we've got uh, two of our students, Jaden Hallisey, who's going to be playing the weatherman in okay. the Phantom Hill booth, and Anna Hamlet, who will be playing Milo. And I'm going to actually let them tell us about the play and where we're going to meet up the show. Okay, great. Go for it. Great. So here they are from the South Shore School of Theater. All right. <laughs> so the play is about a boy named Milo who is always bored all the time and never knows what to do. But then one day when he gets home from school, he finds a mysterious package in his bedroom. And he opens it and there's a toll booth. So he goes through the toll booth on his little bike and he finds a magical world. And then he rescues two princesses to set the kingdoms straight again. And then when he gets home, he realizes that, he, that there is a lot more to life than he thought there was. And what has hap just happened in the play was Milo, who is Anna's character, has just went through the toll booth and arrived in the magical world. Great. So they're going to actually get in place now for the scene. Okay, great, great. And we'll see it. This is strange. I don't recognize any of the scenery at all. Welcome to Expectations. Information, predictions, and advice cheerfully offered. Park here in Ring Bell. My, my, my. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the land of expectations, expectations, expectations. We don't get many travelers these days. We certainly don't get many travelers these days. Now what can I do for you? I'm the weatherman. Um, is this the right way to Dictionopolis? Well now, well now. I don't know any wrong road to Dictionopolis, so if this road goes to Dictionopolis at all, it must be the right road. And if it doesn't, it must be the right road to somewhere else, because there are no wrong roads to anywhere. Do you think it will rain? I thought that you were the weatherman. Oh no, I'm the weatherman. 
not the weatherman, the W-H-E-T-H-E-R. After all, it is more important to know whether there will be weather than to know what the weather will be. What kind of place is expectations? Good question, good question. Expectations is a place you must always go before you get to where you are going. Of course, some people never go beyond expectations. Oh, but it is my job to hurry, hurry, hurry them along whether they like it or not. Now what else can I do for you? I think I can find my own way. Oh, splendid, splendid, splendid. Whether or not you find your own way, you are bound to find some way. If you happen to find my way, please return it. I've lost it years ago. <laughs> I imagine it's quite rusty by now. You did say it was going to rain, didn't you? Hmm. Well, I am so glad you made up your own decision. I do hate to make up my own decision about anything, whether it's good or bad, up or down, rain or shine. Expect the unexpected, I always say, and the unexpected never happens. Well, goodbye, goodbye. Good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. Very well done, very well done. Oh my gosh, come on up, Anna. Good, uh, good acting there. Good acting there. Now, how long have you been a part of the South Shore School of Theater? Well, um, you're Jaden, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, my first play, actually, and actually going to South Shore School of Theater was an hour. Um, a year ago. Okay. Gosh, because you have a lot of lines. And it's very fast. <laughs> yeah. And it's very, re re how do you memorize all your lines? Reading it over and over again. And okay. not just my lines, but anyone else's line that is in the scene. So I know my cues and I know my lines especially. And what do you like most about performance? And now you can put television on you, <laughs> right? That's pretty good. <laughs> um, probably that you're not going to be stuck with it the whole time. It's eventually going to end, and you're going to have a new project eventually. All right. OK, so um, and have you ever had a favorite part yet that you've liked the most? No. <laughs> OK, that's, a, <laughs> that's all right. But you're challenged with this, this, uh, yeah. this one for sure. Definitely. And Anna, how about you? How long have you been? Well, I just started last year, and I was Michael in Peter Pan. Oh, you were? OK, yeah. how did you like that? I really liked it. It was really fun. All right. And um, what do you like most about performance? Um, I like getting to know your character and being able to be that character instead of being you. Oh, all right. Okay. And so is there any way that you learn lines that's kind of a, a uh, trick that you can tell us? That's different? I guess I just read them and run them a lot. Right, right. You grab someone and say, hey, can you do this with me, your mom, yeah. or something like that? Oh, that's good. Tara, I'm going to bring you back sure. in. <clears throat> and so tell me what, how the rehearsal processes go. Do, do you guys rehearse once a week? Do you rehearse often? Yeah, so the youth production class move meets over. twice a week. Yeah. Um, one of the goals of the, of the production classes, um, really, <laughs> is to teach students how a production would be in a professional theater. Mm -hmm. um, so while it might be sometimes easier to meet just once a week, Rehearsals are going to take much more time right. than that oh, yeah, in, in sure. an actual professional theater. Um, so we meet twice a week. They meet once, uh, an hour and a half, yes. uh, <laughs> twice a week. And they work, obviously, off stage as well to be right. able to bring all the work each week. Right. And so is it homework, per se, or you say, okay, memorize by a certain time? You know, I'm going to actually let both of you yeah. answer that since I don't actually teach your specific class yes. this time. So oh. Allison, our director, she gives us a date that we have to be off book, which means right. knowing all your lines for each oh, act. Right. Very good. I'm like that. that you know that off book. I, <laughs> I learned that from my school days. So you guys are ahead of the game. You are. <laughs> well, and, you know, and I will say one of the things that we try to make sure, again, any student learns is if I'm going to go to social school theater, I'm going to be educated yes. in how to go to a professional theater company. So when somebody does say, I want you off book, you're not going, um, can you define that, that for me? Right. So, right. so they've, they, they are hopefully ahead of, get ahead of the game when they go in. Yes. So, so as I encourage um, my guests here to come on our show, that's what we um, yes. that's what we do. Yay. Why don't you <laughs> say in the camera in your be you know in your best way, encourage someone to come on this show to come see their show or come on to your well show? come see their show, but come on to the All Friends Cabaret and how fun it's has it been fun for you? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has been fun. It's been a good experiment experience and. Um, 
Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I put you guys on the phone, but it's improv. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Anna. Well, I was really excited when I heard about it yesterday, yesterday morning. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> so I'm glad I got to do this. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Tara, thank you thank so, you so much. much. No, thank you. And um, catch one of their shows um, at the South Shore School of Theater. They're right at Eastern Nazarene College. And then we'll see you next time right here on the All Friends Cabaret. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome.